with the very latest. You know, Carl, she was up 30 points. Now Brown, Scott Brown, the Republicans ahead. What happened? Well, there's an awful lot of Democrats in this very hall who in the last hour and a half have spent time sort of talking to us about what they think was the problem with Martha Coakley's candidacy. Her campaign, they argued, just didn't get off the dime after she won the Democratic nomination. She was contested for the Democratic primary several weeks ago, but even some of her rivals said that they weren't going to press her particularly hard. And as a consequence, she won the Democratic nomination, and it was said back then a month or so ago that whoever was the Democratic nominee would immediately win the Senate seat. They did not account for Scott Brown, the Republican. Scott Brown has surged from, as you say, a 30-point deficit in the polls some time ago to now either in a statistical dead heat or even in a few surveys actually with a lead uh, across the state. The groundswell of support for Scott Brown in the last few weeks has been something that Massachusetts just simply has not seen in decades. There are people lining the highways, literally draping banners over signs across the state for Scott Brown. And here you have the specter of President Obama about to speak at Northeastern University in the heart of downtown Boston. And frankly, the hall is not filled. Uh, it's a capacity of about 3,000. There's probably 2,000, 2,500 people here. There is a dramatic difference in the level of enthusiasm for Martha Coke.